Hi, it's Tom Gregory here and welcome to this video about how to update Gradle. And you may have a project and every once in a while the good guys over at Gradle HQ send out more updates and more features. And we can hardly blame them, but it's important that we keep our project up to date and incorporate these new features by updating our Gradle version in our project. So let's get right into it. And the first thing we're going to want to do is check which version of Gradle our project is currently on which we can do by running Gradle W dash dash version. And you can see here that this project is on version 641. So what we want to do is update to the latest version. And to find out what is the latest version of Gradle, we can head over to the Gradle releases page, which has all the different versions and when they were released. And we can see right now that the current version is 6.5. So now that we know what version of Gradle we want to update to, how do we actually do that? Well, it's super simple. We just need to run Gradle W wrapper dash dash Gradle dash version and then the new version. And this is essentially going to make all the changes to our project that are required to bring Gradle onto the new version, which in our case is 6.5. And we can double check that this has worked properly by running Gradle W dash dash version again. And right here we can see that our project is on version 6.5 now. And what you want to do now is commit all these changed files into version control. And if you're using git, then if you do a git status, then you'll probably see these four files here have been modified. And you'll probably want to check that your build still works with the latest version of Gradle, but once you're happy you can go ahead and push these changes and then anyone else using your project will be able to benefit from using the latest version of Gradle. And if you want to get an idea of what's actually happening in the background when you update your Gradle version, well, when you run Gradle W, this is a script that lives in your project root directory and that script accesses a file called gradlewrapper.properties located in Gradle slash wrapper. And this file has got a distribution URL property that points to the version of Gradle that you want to use. So when we go and update Gradle by running Gradle W wrapper dash dash Gradle version with the new version, then this file, as well as some other files, get changed automatically. And if you want to learn more about the Gradle wrapper and these files that get updated when you update your Gradle version, then you might want to check out one of these videos here because they go into more details on that. And thanks a lot for watching and please give it a like and subscribe if you got some value from this video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video on Tom Gregory Tech.